20 degrees under, excluding the wind chill factor, which I illustrate by folding up. Sometimes I mention my dirty in test with a glass of water, which I froze outside on the window ledge. Then probably I refer to our train travel in the eastern block, how the guards always woke us up around three o'clock. If I'm telling more, I generally mention Poland, how the dairy ran out by early afternoon. There are no good memories at all. We took a car through the English country and ended in Cambridge, then through the Western world as we know it in a train. We walked through Venice, in Vienna, eight in a torch shop where they maintained pre-war standards, and I helped a man who had been in a car collision. But I never tell my strongest memory how in Paris, Vienna and London, burning at 20, I was angry with my family and me, told everything to a diary and nothing to anyone. In memoriam, T.M. He was cryptic in discussion to the point of bafflement, but we accepted it as the working of an unusual mind, outstripping our conclusions. We postponed our comprehension for later self-analysis. When alone, we could ask ourselves what he meant. He was eclectic also, partly because he found no subject difficult, but he maintained a self-deprecatory air, and the pieces of learning and insight he mentioned from multifarious fields he made little of. When he described on the phone the various mundane tasks he was undertaking, returning books, writing letters, giving away things, and said, untypically, 
making up for lost time, although he'd been sick, so much a part of me was his behaviour. It didn't occur to me he was dying and knew it. He was a paradox, more talk bored him, but he was absorbed in the detail of the world, and he carried you with him and opened your mind to his perceptions, so you saw wisdom at work. Nothing prepares you, however, for the inexpungible sense of loss after he died and the daily awareness of grief. Speak not again my name and let your folly be. It was no baby that ye heard crying, but misery that pain at me. But misery that pain at me. She had not been to the king's high court a twelve month and a day. Oh, it's never when she to comfort the queen, but often when she to play, but often when she to play. Queen Mary come a tripling, her hair so fair to see. What did ye with that sweet little boy? You dandled on your knee. Dandled on your knee. I rolled him in my handkerchief. I sold him in the sea. I could not have him come between the prince's bed and me. The prince's bed and me. It's little did my mother know the day she held up my head What lands my foot would fall upon And how I earn my bread And how I earn my bread It's little did my father think The day he gathered me in that I would go in furry land and die on gallows pin and die on gallows pin. She would not wear the velvet gown. She would not wear the brown. Oh, it's dressed me up in red and scarlet as I pass through the town, as I pass through the town, cast off, cast off my scarlet gown, and then a napkin tie around my eyes, lest I shall see the death I am to die. The death I am to die. Last night, 